Hello, I'm Tammy Ravis, a librarian at the University of Montana's Mansfield Library. And welcome to the first unit of Who Owns Culture? An Introduction to Copyright. Today, let's start out with the following question. What comes to mind when you hear the phrase intellectual property? Many of you are familiar with the concept of property as a physical item, and that there are laws on the books to protect such items from being stolen. For instance, let's say you went out and purchased a bicycle. That bicycle is now your property. In some cities, you can or must register your bike so that there is a more official legal record that it belongs to you. This makes it easier to identify you if you were involved in a crash while riding your bike. And, at least in theory, it will be returned to you more quickly if stolen and reported to police. However, what happens if you write a book, compose a piece of music, or perhaps even invent a new kind of toaster? Do such creations of the mind belong to you in the same way that you'd own the bicycle you purchased? That's where the concept of intellectual property comes into play. We'll touch upon all sorts of ways that different creations of the mind are legally protected in this unit. There are a handful of different types of intellectual property in related concepts. They can be easy to confuse and conflict. They are, one, copyright. This is applied to literature, art, music, architecture, sound recordings, movies, dramatic works, and choreography. As the title of the course suggests, copyright is the focus of this course. Two, patent. Patent is applied to inventions and discoveries. If you were to invent a new kind of toaster, you can own a patent to it, but it's not copyrighted. Three, trademark. Trademark covers logos, slogans, and designs associated with the company's brand. It even covers scents. I'm looking at you, Abercrombie and Fitch. Four, trade secrets. Next, trade secrets pr protect processes and information from being shared outside of a business. Five, academic honesty, or the concept of plagiarism, isn't so much related to legal protection as it is to ethics. When writing a paper, you need to properly cite your sources if you directly quote from them or paraphrase them. Not doing so can get you in serious academic or career trouble. Six, lastly, right of publicity is a concept that is more related to right of privacy than intellectual property. In a nutshell, using someone's likeness, and that could be an image, someone's voice, or imitations of either, to make money without that person's permission may result in a lawsuit. It's important to remember that all of these different kinds of protections are typically limited to balance the needs of the public good, along with incentives and needs of those who create intellectual property. So, by the end of this unit, my objectives for you are to be able to successfully provide general definitions and to differentiate between these different types of intellectual property. To accomplish this, you'll be doing the following. One, reading class notes posted in Moodle that go into further detail on each of these six areas and doing your own self-assessment exercise so that you'll have a quick study guide for future exams. Two, you'll read chapter six, The Private Ownership of People in Kimber McLeod's 2001 book, Owning Culture, Authorship, Ownership, and Intellectual Property Law. The chapter is 35 pages long with nine pages of endnotes and it covers how intellectual property can affect our everyday lives. Please read the chapter and post a reaction video to YouTube that answers the following three questions. One, what ideas in this chapter are new and interesting to you? Two, what parts of this chapter are most relevant to your studies or to your life experiences so far? Three, after reading the entire chapter, please discuss your favorite or least favorite brand and how the ideas in this chapter may have changed your perceptions of it. You'll find the specific due date, as well as further instructions on how to structure and post these reaction videos in the written assignment directions in Moodle. Happy reading, 
And I look forward to your reactions.